PlayStation 3 is by far the most advanced gaming system ever created, and even a seasoned developer like Factor 5 needs to learn new methods and new tricks to unlock its power. One of the biggest challenges making photorealistic next generation games on PlayStation 3 is that we are at a level of quality now where we compare with movies and television and special effects, but we don't get to use some of their tricks. When you're creating a movie, the director can say, I want exactly this shot, I'm going to frame it this way, and you can work with that because you know, oh, the back of the head you will never see because it is not in the shot, so you can only build the face. We don't have that luxury. In games, the user has the control over the camera. You can always look around, and if there is no back of the head, it falls apart. So not only have we reached the detail level of movies and the rendering capabilities of movies, but in terms of production value, we have to deliver more than the movie guys ever had to do. And what makes this possible is Sony's cell technology. If you look at your household PC, it basically is one unit that does all the processing in there. There's one thing that does, okay, one plus one is two, two plus three is five. There's only that fast that it can go though. And the big, big, big difference for cell is that there's a massive group of other CPUs that really can work massively in parallel. The trick is, of course, to break up the game into small tests that you can assign to these processors, and then they work independently for the rest of the game. And once they're done calculating, they report back, and you can take those results and send them to other cells. Early on in the process, Factor 5 discovered a unique way to use the cell technology to their advantage, called progressive mesh. A lot of people ask us, you know, how many polygons in your dragon? And the weird thing about that is, with the technology we're using on cell, on any given frame of the game, I can't answer that question. We're building assets that are movie quality. We take them to the millions of polygons. We're running algorithms that decide how many polygons any given object on the screen should be using based on how far it is from the camera, how big it is on the screen. We're being ambushed! Protect the Mantis! So in the past, we had to create distinct LODs. So LODs means if you're a certain distance from an object, it maybe has 100 polygons. If you get closer, maybe it has 200. If you get closer, 400 and so on. But an artist had to actually go in and create each one of these LODs by hand. And when you switch between the LODs, you often saw like a pop and you know, all of a sudden it had more detail. So progressive mesh allows us to continuously add polygons as you get closer and closer to the object. So you don't have that jarring pop moment anymore. So it gives you basically a smooth migration from one level to the next. If you look at it, you basically don't notice it happening. So it's a very nice, a very soft look. And again, the great power of the cell processor actually allows us to do that. Once the cell processors have calculated the polygons, it hands the job off to another chip to put on the finishing touches. The RSX is the graphical part of the machine. Cell is really good at doing simulations. It is not particularly specialized to render a lot of little pixels from which the whole image is built. The RSX chip is specifically designed to do just that, taking it the final step and giving you the photorealistic finish on everything. One of the things Factor 5 has a reputation for is very cutting edge rendering engines. We did some really great things with atmospheric effects in the last generation, and we're taking that to the next level on PlayStation 3. All of our light is real time. The sun rises, the sun sets, the fog rolls in, the fog rolls out, the shadows are generated in real time. Everything is dynamic. Every time a dragon breathes fire, it's casting a light on some part of the world around where that flame is, and there's a lot of fire. 